Hello everyone and welcome to this new lesson on creating a Jenkins freestyle job. So this will be the first job that we are going to create within the Jenkins UI. So what is Jenkins freestyle? A Jenkins freestyle project is a central feature of Jenkins. Jenkins will build your project combining any source code management with any build system like Maven or Ant. And you can use Jenkins Freestyle for something other than software build as well. So in this video, I will take a simple project and I will build it manually. And I will show you how to do the same thing within Jenkins as well. Like for example, we will be taking a simple Java application and building it through a Jenkins Freestyle project. And you can also use the Jenkins Freestyle project to create a continuous integration pipeline. So enough of the theory, let me go back to the demo right away. For this demo, I have already created a GitHub repository. So I will quickly walk you through that. So this is a very simple spring demonstration, like uh, it doesn't have any fancy code, just a simple hello world. And it has a couple of files, class path, project and a license file. And it also has a pom.xml file. So what is a pom? A pom or a project object model is a fundamental unit of work in Maven. And Maven is the tool that we will be using to build this project. So this project is a Maven project. This pom.xml file is an XML file that contains information about the project and configuration details, which is used by Maven to build the project. It contains general information like what is the target, what is the source directory, the test source directory and so on. When executing a task or a goal, your maven looks for the pom in the current directory. It reads the pom, gets the needed configuration information and then executes the goal. You can also specify project dependencies in your pom file and you can also specify the plugins or goals that can be executed, the build profiles and so on. And in addition to that, you can also specify other information like the project version, the description, mailing list and so on. So this is a very important file when you are dealing with the Maven projects. So other than these four files, I also have a source code repository which is within the SRC folder. So if I click that, I can go and see the Java files. So let me uh, go into that and if I go to app.java, you know that this is a very simple hello world project. So it's not going to do anything fancy. It's just going to print hello world. So let me go back to my project repository. And this is the repository that I'm going to deal with in my Jenkins. Next up, we will see how to clone this repository and how to build this repository locally without making use of Jenkins Freestyle. So to clone the repository, let me go into my user directory. So I will change directories to my user directory Ravikran S and before that I will add users and I will just clear the screen. So to clone the directory, I will use the command git clone and I need to pick up this particular URL. So I will copy this URL and I will give it as a parameter for the git clone command. So what this command will do is it will copy the files from the GitHub to my local directory within this particular location. So let me clone that. So the cloning is complete. And to verify that if it has cloned correctly, you can go into your user directory or to the location where you have specified the clone and go and check the project which is available here. So you can see the same directory has been cloned into your local. Now to build this particular project, first let me go into the project. So I need to say cd and the name of the folder which is spring example 
and over here I will first do MVN clean so that it removes if there are any bin files and then to compile the file or the, to compile the project I need to say MVN compile so the compilation is successful and if I go to my project folder I should see a new folder that's been added which is the target folder and which contains the output of my compilation so let me go into that and it generates a class file okay so this is the output of my compilation so that's how you will do a simple compilation manually in your local system now let's go and see how to do the same thing using Jenkins CI to compile the same project using your Jenkins CI go to your Jenkins which is typically hosted at localhost colon 8080 or the port that you had specified when you started Jenkins and log in using the user ID and password or the admin user ID and password that you had given uh, when you first created or set up the Jenkins. So let me first log in there. And if I log in there, I see a welcome to Jenkins page and uh, there are actually no jobs. That's why it's not displaying any jobs. Else it would have displayed a list of jobs that has been that have been running here. So to create the first Jenkins freestyle project and to build our uh, app using Jenkins, go and create a new job. So here you see a lot of different options. One is the freestyle project that we are going to do in this video. And uh, the second one is a pipeline, which has been uh, very popular with uh, Jenkins 2.0. So we will deal with pipeline a lot more in the uh, future video series. For now, we will stick to freestyle project and some other um, options are uh, doing a multi configuration project, multi branch project and so on. Anyway, we will stick to freestyle project and the name of the project, I'm going to give it as a spring project okay, or a spring job. And I will say, okay. So this is the section that you will be thrown at when you are configuring a freestyle project. It has several sections. You can navigate these sections either by clicking onto the tab. It will automatically scroll down or you can just automatically scroll down. So it is everything is in one page and they are broken down into different sections like general. So here is a place you will write your description. So let me uh, give a sample description, sample project. So sample Maven project. Okay. And uh, there are some other options. We will see these later. Just know that uh, it helps you to configure lots of different uh, uh, ways you, in which you can build the project. So throttle builds, discard all builds and so on. And if you go into source code management system or the section, here is a place where you need to specify where your repository is coming from. Okay. So for this video, we will keep this configuration very thin. So we will not uh, go and uh, check, check in all the different options here that you are seeing, but rather our only main goal is to build our Maven project. Okay. So for Jenkins to build the Maven project, you need to specify where exactly the Maven project is. So our project is a GitHub repository. So you need to specify the GitHub uh, link here, not your local, uh, not, not in the place where you have uh, locally downloaded. So select Git because it's a Git repository, uh, which has been hosted in GitHub. And for the repository URL, Again, go back to GitHub and clone the repository and paste it over here. So this is the repository URL and it doesn't require any credentials and the branches, we have only one branch. So uh, master is fine. If you have several branches in your repository, then you need to specify which particular branch to build. And let me scroll down. And that's it, the source code management section, we need not give anything else. So directly it will take the project from that place. So once done, scroll down 
and here uh, you have several different build triggers like what actually triggers a new build again we will go through some of the options in the next uh, few video tutorials but for now i am not interested in any of these i will come directly to the build step so in the build step you would specify what should happen during the build okay so i am going to specify invoke top level maven targets okay so there are several uh, maven targets so like one is compile one is test and so on so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say compile okay so it's going to compile the project whenever you say build now and compilation is just one step in the build process remember there can be several different steps in your build process one is test and one is uh, packaging and so on so we are gonna stick to very simple example in this video and for me this project uh, this particular job is only gonna compile and tell me the output and if you want if you do not uh, want to use this option you can also go and use execute shell if you are using a linux system or execute uh, windows batch command if you are using a windows system and uh, what you would do is uh, uh, suppose uh, i am using windows so what i would do is first i need to invoke the maven.exe and then i need to specify the path uh, where that location uh, location of uh, the maven.exe and directly compile so here you would uh, do something like maven.exe okay so that is not required uh, in uh, the invoke top level maven targets because you're directly uh, talking to the maven okay so that is not required so here i'm gonna say only compile as my target and once it is done i'm just gonna go and save it okay so the project spring is created okay and what i'm gonna do now is i will go and build the project okay so let's see what really happens when i build the project To build the project, right now, go to your dashboard and go to your project and just say build now. And note that in the build history section, you get a, a process that's been happening. And at the same time, in your command prompt also, you can see the status of your build. So open your command prompt. And here in the command prompt, you see that spring number one which is the uh, build number one main build action completed and it is a success so you can see the output over here or if you want you can see it in the ui itself you just need to click the uh, build number and go over here and see the console output and uh, if you see the console output it will give a step-by-step -step information of what exactly it has done so here it's first cloning the repository from the github uh, url that we had provided and then um, it is going and uh, uh, building the project okay or compiling the project and uh, it has finished as a success so if you see here in the second line it is saying something like building in workspace and this particular location so this is a user directory and within the user directory there is a folder called dot jenkins which i had alluded to earlier so let me go into that particular folder and if you go into dot jenkins you will see a folder called workspace and that's where the contents of the build have been stored and if you see there is a name called spring which is the name that we had given to the job and if you go into this job you will see the outputs of the build and just note that this is exactly the same structure or the output structure that was created as and when you built manually so when you built manually you had the same structure you had the target folder and again here you have uh, the same structure so if you go into com you will see the output so let me go into common and uh, you will see the output of the compilation. So congratulations, you have learned how to create a simple freestyle project and to compile your app using Jenkins CI.